Well, the push for preschool in Idaho may finally make it through the legislature next year. That story, plus possible testing high school students a bit less. Those stories and much more tonight's Making the Grade with Idaho Education News reporter Kevin Richard. Kevin's back from Making the Grade. You had a chance to attend an early learning conference. I don't know mm -hmm. if they called it a summit or not. Mm -hmm. At the beginning of this week, what came out of that? Well, a really surprising prediction from a key senator, Stephen Thane from Emmett, who's been very involved in, in education issues. He's vice chairman of the Senate Education Committee, saying he thinks there's a chance that a pre-K bill will pass next session. Now, we've been covering this for years. It right. has been debated at the legislature for years. It would be really a, a breakthrough for, for pre-K advocates if something were to get through, but we'll, we'll see. Well, and as you said, Senator Thane has not necessarily been the person who's He's been on been a skeptic. board. He's been uh, very skeptical of how a pre-K program would be, uh, would be structured, how would it affect uh, families and, and learning in the home. Idaho, one of only six states now that doesn't support right. a pre-K program. Is there any emphasis to how this would even look? Well, that was interesting. The, the uh, attendees heard from uh, an advocate from Mississippi who was instrumental in passing a pre-K program in Mississippi, and she pointed out ideologically, politically, a lot of parallels between sure. Mississippi and Idaho. What they did was basically it's sort of a pilot program. It's half funded by the state. It's partially funded at the community level. That's kind of what's been mm -hmm. talked about in, in the pilot, uh, pilot pro proposal in, in Idaho. But it has happened in Mississippi. It's been on the books now for two years. They're looking to actually try to increase the funding in 2016. Interesting that we just got out of a legislative session and there's already talk of pre-K yet once again. Yes. Let's move on to the topic that you wrote about, about testing for high schoolers and what the State Department of Education is looking to possibly do. Well, what they'd like to do, they're, they're looking at what their alternatives would be, what the state's alternatives would be to the smarter balance test that kids are taking even as we speak. So one of the things that they're looking at is, is there a way to find a test that would serve as a college entrance exam and also serve as a test that would uh, satisfy the Fed's requirements for an end of course test for high school kids. Because students are required to take a college entrance exam in order to graduate from high school. And most kids take the SAT because the state pays for that. So what the State Department is looking at, and it's very early, it's not clear whether they can pull it off, is they want to look at, well, is there a way to do to find one test that would serve both purposes. Which makes sense, maybe not have kids take so much testing time, correct? Right, because the, the smarter balance test that the students are taking now, even though it's taking less time than expected, it still is taking several hours. The SAT takes several hours, so the theory is if you can find one test, you can save a few hours. Hmm, interesting, we'll have to follow that one. And before I let you go, you have posted a story on your website that I think is gonna generate a lot of buzz about Nampa High School's valedictorian. Give yes. us a little sneak peek. Yeah, speaking of graduates, two very interesting graduates I wanna mention. Alex Tracy is one of the uh, valedictorians at Nampa High School. His family went through this really uh, difficult financial situation where basically he had to move in with a best friend and his mm. friend's parents just to stay in the Nampa schools. Wow. Well, he's managed to stay in. He's one of their four valedictorians. He's going to go to the U.S. Naval Academy in the fall. Wow. Really an interesting story. Another kid that we're, we've written about this week is uh, Andres Morales. He is a graduate from Caldwell High School. First in his family to attend high school. Oh. Now he will be the first in his family to attend college. He's received a full ride scholarship through the uh, Gates Foundation. He's going to go to Washington State University. This young man takes seven classes. He works 40 hours a week. I get exhausted reading about him, but they're both very interesting stories, and uh, readers should check it out. Most definitely. We love telling good kids' stories. So if you want to see those stories, of course, head to the website, idahoednews.org. There he is right there, the Nampa yes. valedictorian mm -hmm. on the front page. Kevin, thanks for being here for Making the Grade. Thank you.